What's up everyone, welcome back to another video, it's me Eclipse, and today I'm gonna be trying out, you know, Logby 3.0, ran the actual ransomware compiled sample against Avast on multiple stages. So, you know how I always turn off one shield, and I mean, first go with all the shields and see the behavior protections and then just go keep going? Well, I figured out that I could do the same, but if I do that, everything from the folder that I have in the build right here, it's gonna just disappear. So, because I have gotten almost banned off YouTube the last time I've made a video on this, I think I'm gonna have to be extra careful this time, because now I'm documenting it against an actual antivirus solution, but still I'm showing things I shouldn't for some reason. I'm not sure if that's true, but I was apparently showing things I shouldn't have shown, even though I was documenting it for research and entertainment purposes only. So, yeah, I I can't blame YouTube. They thought it's malicious when it's not really. I've just been documenting the thing and, you know, showing it to people. And no, I was not providing any info or download links on it whatsoever. So I think that is completely... It is rightful, but not really rightfully done. So... Yeah, they, they did make a mistake, but I did not want to question or, like, appeal it because, again, I don't know how they would take something like this uh, as, you know, malicious or not. So, yeah, I'm going to be extra careful this time and make sure I just drag the actual executable and then use the crypto afterwards, maybe. So, it's not going to go all cray crazy. So, first thing, because I haven't tested Lockbit 3 yet, I'm going to, you know... <clears throat> pull all the shields back as soon as I but let me just drag the thing onto the desktop and I'll be right back because I cannot show anything apparently so I'll just grab the executable and shove it into the desktop and I'll be back okay so the file is back on the desktop I've got everything ready so now I think let's do a scan test which is gonna be the first thing we're gonna do because if I just open the enable all the shields it's just gonna start detecting it left and right so let's do this first and as expected it is detected so yeah <clears throat> it was detected and stopped so now let's do a quick behavior blocker test so I'm gonna go like this and then I'm gonna see if it detected behavior wise so let's do a run test with log with 3.0 as administrator there we go All right. Mm -hmm. Yup, it is. It is just, it is not happy. Oh no. So just the behavior shield is not good enough. So for some reason it keeps closing it, but it's file extension seems to be some gibberish. I'm gonna put it on screen what the file extension is but I have no dummy files ready so I cannot show anything again okay okay since I'm being extremely careful this time as you can see I drag it in and here is the actual extension now so this is also the actual extension so I can't open this for some reason it just closes but as you can see it is log with 3.0 so now let's see if instead we get detection by any of these shields after I run the decryptor. Pausing the video again. Right, so I got the decryptor now. Sorry it took a bit longer, but I was doing something. And yeah, I got the decryptor ready. So this file should disappear as soon as I run this. So yeah, the behavior shield does not detect this either. So I'm just going to hit this and there we go. Everything is back to normal. This file is normal. I'm gonna blur it because again, I don't want freaking YouTube to kill me again. So yeah, it, it works. So now I'm gonna try file shield. Oh, actually before that, let's scan this one as well. For some reason also detected, which is illogical, honestly, because it's actually a good program. That's not logical. So now we're done with that let's enable a few more shields but this time let's go deeper in into the settings so this time I have behavior shield but I'm gonna you know enable a few more like these two okay now these are yeah these are two um and harden mode and let's try this again 
So now we got that. Let's try this again. Okay. So I think that's blocked. That's a block. This time, what was it? Behavior shield. How come the last time we didn't do it? Oh, maybe because of the harder mode. So harder mode does function, I guess. That is very interesting. So if it got it with the behavior shield and the, you know, exploit and rootkit shield, that means it, you should be fine zero day wise. As long as you have, you know, those hardened mode and the exploit and anti rootkit shield enabled because because I've disabled everything. But the behavior shield, you would probably be all right if you have all of those three. So basically right now I had hardened mode, anti-rootkit, and anti-exploit, while before when it actually encrypted everything, I did not have these three, so these three made a difference that I got detected. Without these three, it would not. So yeah, of course if I turn on file shield, it's just gonna spam me detections, so you're gonna see in, in, in a second, everything's gonna just disappear. Uh, it's gonna go crazy, so let me just cut off the clip until it, it detects something. Which is gonna be really soon. All right, so um, you know it shows that when I will run this, it's gonna just detect it, of course. But this shows that you know it has some capabilities zero day as well. So, like I said, these three made a huge difference in terms of getting detected and not getting detected and encrypted. So, yeah. If you have behavior blocker and these three right here that I'm showing, you should genuinely be fine against this threat and all the new ransomwares. But if you have, you know, badly configured behavior shield, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. So, as well as the if you don't have file shield enabled, because file shield has an okay signature ratio as well. Yet, I know this product is still a little bit exploitable because it was never perfect. Never ever perfect. And with that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed this interesting video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Pray that this one's not gonna get deleted because I literally, I literally had, I'm gonna have to censor everything possible in terms of this actual software, like even, like even the goddamn folder right now. I don't wanna get this get deleted because I just wanna make an interesting demonstration of this product and this file thing itself. So, yeah. Thank you again for watching and with this said, I'll see you in the next video.